Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, line 5. The translation that I'm reading says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. There's a big difference between having dreams of purchasing a car and home and understanding they require money to secure them than being obsessed with money to the point it becomes our God. Money has become your God when you do anything to get it. You shouldn't love it. You should see it as what it is, a tool, a temporary and finite resource. God provides us with money to equip us with an instrument to navigate through this world. Love him, not the tool. Depend on him, not the tool. Sacrifice for him, not the tool. There's a bunch of rich people running around miserable, self-destructing because they chase the money thinking it would make them happy. Whole, complete, and safe. They were wrong. Only God can. There's a bunch of people robbing and stealing to get money. They think it's the solution to their problems. It's not. God is. You will always find yourself lacking when you think money can do what only God can do. We don't have to worry about bills when we take care of our responsibilities and have confidence in God's ability to take care of all of our needs. If we're going to worry, then why pray to him? Why go to church? Why read and study his word? Why say, God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. If we don't truly believe it and believe that he's got things handled. So let's do as he directs and let him handle the rest. Let's pray on it. Father, I know that you will always be here for me, always protecting and watching over me, and that you will never forsake me. So I don't have to stress over money and going without because you are my sole provider. I don't have to leave sleep over and desire things beyond my means because if it's meant for me, it will be. I know that you will always meet my needs, quench my thirst, feed my hunger, clothe me and cover me with shelter. I thank you for taking care of me, Father. In your name I pray, amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care. Hi family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.